in Foster City, people are protesting a controversial plan to control the goose population. It could mean killing up to 100 birds. KPX5 reporter Max Darrow is live at the rally that's underway. How's it going, Max? Ryan, this isn't the first time we've seen a rally like this here in Foster City over this particular issue. It's starting to wrap up now. There are about two dozen or so people who showed up, including a couple elected officials. You can see many have signs saying coexist, another saying allow residents vote, and even another saying just don't kill the geese. Now, they're out here as geese advocates saying that killing off some of the population just shouldn't be an option that's even on the table. So how did we even get here? The Canada goose population in Foster City is growing, and more geese means more droppings. And city officials say the excessive amount of goose poop has created health hazards for the greater community. They tell us they've tried a variety of tactics to control the goose population, like slowing down reproductive efforts and trying to relocate the geese, but those efforts haven't worked. So last month, the city council greenlit a plan to get a geese depredation permit, if necessary, which would allow the city to capture and kill up to 100 geese. The advocates here say there are several other options that the city should pursue, such as habitat modification that could help solve the problems. Oh, I think the murder option should definitely be off the table. There's so many other options available that are uh, kinder to animals. I mean, this is, I think, preposterous. A city spokesperson says the city has an obligation to protect the community from potential health hazards from the growing geese population. Now, if they do move forward with getting a geese depredation permit, they tell us it'll be used selectively and in conjunction with the non-lethal measures. But at this point, they haven't identified a vendor that they would be able to work with if they do pursue this route. And at this time, they don't have a timetable for even moving in that direction. Reporting live in Foster City, Max Darrow, KPIX 5. Okay, thanks, Max. As California gets ready for an electric future and more wind and solar energy, there's concern the state won't be able to meet its power demands. That has Governor Newsom announcing his support to keep the Diablo Canyon nuclear plant running for another decade. But as KPX 5's Wilson Walker reports, environmentalists are divided over the nuclear option. Here at the MCE Solar One site in Richmond, the largest public-private solar partnership in the Bay Area, all of this can power about 4,000 homes when the sun is shining, and that is why California's daily renewable use looks like this. It is that energy gap that California needs to fill, and right now, nuclear is having a moment. Uh, the experts at the State Energy Commission at the California Independent System Operator have been saying we're not going to have enough power in 25, 26, and maybe beyond that, even to the end of the decade. Dan Richard and Carbon Free California have been lobbying to keep Diablo Canyon running past its scheduled closure in 2024. It's currently producing about 9% of the state's energy, and Richard calls it a necessary link to a greener future. So there are those two reasons to keep the plant going. One, to keep the lights on, and the other, because as a clean energy resource, it competes with and displaces not renewables, but natural gas. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been listening to arguments. There's some good arguments on both sides.